Now let's discuss about the structural testing. In the previous lectures we have seen that the functional testing is also called as the black box testing. The structural testing is same which will be known as the white box testing. In a structural testing we have concerned we have to focus on the internal structure of the coding of the software product. If we are giving the output input to the system then how the output will come how the system will behave at the back end we are concerned with that that's why we said the structural testing focus on the structure of the system whatever the inter internal structure is whatever the back end structure is whatever the coding structure is the structural testing is based on the system architecture the more complex architecture we have the chances of the failure will be more so at that point of time the structure will be as much as simplest during the structural testing processes or during the designing of the software products. Structural testing is used at all the levels of the testing especially with the system, system integration and acceptance testing. During the system testing if we are working on the structural testing part the tester the quality analyst should have well versed with a complete knowledge of the coding. Same for the system integration. If you are going to connect the module 1 to the module 2, the tester have the complete knowledge about the connectivity, about the behavior of the module 1 with the module 2 during the connectivity and also during the acceptance testing also. If you are testing as an end user then you can verify you can test at every point being a user that what the user exactly expect from the product. This is the structural testing that tells that the coding knowledge is must during this structural testing part or white box testing part. We'll